Hey, what's up guys? It's Benny here and welcome to what really is my first impressions of League Play because up to now in Black Ops 2 I've sort of stayed away from like the League Play playlist and sort of just stayed to the public like Ground War and stuff like that. But over the past couple days um, I've been playing League Play with Ali A and uh, iTemp which has been an absolute laugh. I've like, been playing it late into night like last night I was up till 4am playing with them uh, and we ended up getting to play with... Uh, uh, optic nade shot as well which is like a real eye opener to like how competitive pros play it's just like a completely different ball game and over the past couple of days this is my favorite game game that we had uh we do end up losing the game but we from the start we had three people and when you're playing people who are working as a team because these guys were like top platinum division now about to go into masters i think after one more win um and it was just a lot more difficult than public public is. It's, it, I've been absolutely having a laugh because it's been a real challenge. That like you always have to think two steps ahead of what you're doing. You you, ha you can't just rush in and take it. Everyone has pretty much we've ran into because we're we're, we're in masters solo now. Um, everyone you run into can shoot and hold their own in a Call of Duty game. They're like they're all like three KD players. So you actually have to try to think a step ahead. And make sure you've got the position. Um, and the thing that I've realised in this game, the reason we end up losing, we, we're in the lead for the whole game up until like the final minute and a half, I think, and um, we end up losing it because we we just because of lack of experience in league play. Like every single person, Ali plays really well. He gets his score streaks in, locks points down. Um, I temp plays really well, and like we all played really really well in this game. But just because we don't really play league play we have no experience in hard point like i can remember this one point um we were like we all set up for the uh, hard point because we thought it was at like where b flag normally is and we all sat up there and then suddenly it's a monument and they were and then the enemy team have got it and we're just like oh don't and it's just stuff like that it's it's it's, it's really really fun learning um how it's like playing a new game almost because it's just a completely different play style to how you play in public and i've been having an absolute laugh um, but we we make like the rookie mistakes of rotating off the points too early and giving them too many free points, um, not rotating to the next point quickly enough <laughs> and stuff like that, which because uh, they've already set up. Because um, eventually, like something I've noticed when you're playing like four full man teams, if they if you've got a point on lockdown, um, like we do here, they they just sort of give up for it after about 25 seconds. So you can have one person just hold the capture point while the other two people or three people. It should be three people, but no, no, we had two extra people. Um, is uh, like run and just lock down the next hard point because it's always an identical rotation in hard point. And you also play capture the flag and search and destroy in. Uh, the league play playlist as well, which is really fun because it's game modes that like I I play I was playing in ground war never play, and it's been it's it's been so much fun and kind of opened my eyes up to like playing different game modes and stuff like that, and it's been it's just been a really fun couple of days. Like, I I haven't done a late night gaming session till like four in the morning in so long, and um like like I was I was saying earlier we're playing with um optic nature who is like in one of the best uh, <laughs> Call of Duty competitive teams in the world. Uh, in Optic, where he's playing with someone who's arguably one of the best Call of Duty players in the world, um, Optic Scumpy and all that, and they've got a great team. And it's what's made me realise is it's a completely different playstyle and playset to how um, you play in public. And it's something that I kind of want to focus on and really do, do like focus on trying to improve because I really generally did enjoy playing this. And I think after a while, I could, if like after, because like I think me, um, I temp and Allier are going to try to do this a bit more. Go for like masters and team and stuff like that with um, I think fear crowds as well. Um, we 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 kind of just kind of play it a bit more because it's it's such a fun challenge. And if you guys haven't already, uh, like definitely go and jump on league play because it is a completely completely different game almost. Like, I I I think that's one of the good the great things about Activision. I think um, I think it's Activision. I never can, can remember the Call of Duty companies. I'm useless uh, with this, but I think they've they've set this game up to focus quite a lot on competitive play, and it's been one of those things that's been like booming over the past year like how pub competitive is being watched like the viewers and competitive is increasing people's interest in competitive is increasing i can see why because it's so fun to play like you get bored in public um and like, i noticed like a lot of people like you rage quit when you're losing stuff in this in league play you don't you fight to the end you you literally just want to keep going and just try and win the game as badly 
as you can like you just you don't want to give up and that's one of the great things I very, I very rarely saw people quitting out of the game and that, that was really kind of like one of the aspects that I disliked about Kooji everyone always left and that's been taken out from league play um, so if, if I was just wondering from you guys if, if I was to do like a league play series where I, I te- like go pretty much go through my experiences of learning like the competitive side of Call of Duty over the public side because I, 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 I really want to kind of like improve and become good at the competitive side like because uh, I know that I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty good player at the public side of things but I want to improve and do this because it's, it's fun locking down points and actually having to think tactically like okay you're locking down there you're watching there doing, doing all the call outs learning anchoring I am a great anchor that is something that I have learned um, well no I'm not really but um, over the, like, that's the first thing we learned um, like on the first day of playing league play is that we have to have an anchor on hard point and I'm so happy with that someone who locks and controls the spawn so you get the best spawn to get the, the best hard point which we learned on slums because this guy was just literally Anchoring the hell out of us, and we're like, "What the hell is he doing?" We always went on the other side of the map. We kind of looked into it, and someone in like the um, Twitch chat just went, "Oh, he's he's anchoring the spawn." We're like, "I'll be an anchor. I'll be the anchor." Uh, I just had absolute so much fun. And um, guys, if if you um, like want to see us do league play, I'm sure we'll be doing a, a, like I will be doing another stream of it. Just like follow my Twitter, and I'm sure we'll tweet it out when uh, I'll retweet it and stuff when he's streaming again. But guys, that's the end of the video, and I hope you fir- enjoyed my first impressions of league play. Um, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all later.